Hi there, welcome back to this channel. Um, let's quickly attend this Mount of Lincoln question. It says three floors, root two root two, um, all to the power of x, plus three minus two root two all to the power of x is equal to 34. Now seeing this, you notice that these numbers are binomial conjugates, yes. They are binomial conjugates. Uh, we've spoken of binomial conjugates in our uh, search video. So one thing we can do here is to... Um, there are a lot of things we can do here. There are a lot of things. First, we can say let A, let A be equal to 3 plus 2 root 2. And then B be equal to 3 minus 2 root 2. Okay, you know one thing I want to do? What I want to do is this. Let me see... So if A is this, then A raised to the power X will be, yeah. If A is this, so it means that my question is now A times B is equal to, no, A raised to the power X times B raised to the power X is equal to what, 34, okay? So um, one thing I want you to see is that being binomial conjugates, there is a possibility that this, let's do something here. If since a is three plus two root two, how about we take one over one over a? So that becomes one over three plus two root two. Then let's rationalize that. That becomes times um, negative two root two over negative. Um, I mean this, so that we have the numerator becomes three minus two root two, all over this by this nine minus. This by this six root two, this by this we've we've attempted a question like a question like this before. Three by this gives um six root two. Um, but this one this one will be positive, right? This will be positive, while this by this will give us negative four root four. All right, and if you look at it well, we are getting somewhere. So this takes care of this, this minus this, this will be eight. Four times two, that is eight. Nine minus eight, that is one. So what does that tell us? That one over a is actually what? Three minus two root two. So I'm represented three minus as b. So b is actually one over a. So since b is one over a, uh, we can therefore say, we can write our expression to be that a is now three plus two root two, and one over a is what? Three minus two root two, all right. So we are getting somewhere now. So it, it tells us therefore that since a is this, a raised to the power x plus one over a, all raised to the power x is equal to 34. So and this of course will give us a raised to the power x plus one over one raised to the power x will still give us one. And raised to the power x is equal to 34, okay? From here, we could now continue the normal maths because it's, I think it's quite simple now. So we can multiply through by a raised to the power x. Let's multiply through by a raised to the power x. d times a raised to the power x will give us a raised to the power x times a raised to the power x plus 1 over a raised to the power x times a raised to the power x and equal to 34 times a raised to the power x, all right? So this gives us, this times this gives us a raised to the power 2x. I mean, that is addition of the powers. Plus, this takes care of this 1 equals 34 a raised to the power x. All right, so from here, let's make, make a raised to the power x equal to, let's make a to the power x be equal to m. Let's a to the power x be equal to a. So it means that, you know, this is actually, this thing is a to the power 2, and no, a to the power x all squared, right? This. So since this is now m, this will now be m squared. I tried to simplify it, is that okay? So plus 1 is equal to 34m. This is just m directly. All right. So what has it done? It has done to a quadratic expression. That becomes m squared minus 34m plus 1 is equal to 0. All right. Let's see if we can factorize. Um, I'm going to be releasing a video on quadratic equations soon. And um, you see, 
you to know if it can be factorized. Okay, I talked about that in the quadratic expression. I'm going to link the video in the description as well. So um, from what I'm seeing here, this guy cannot be factorized. So let's just use the almighty formula directly. So that says that m squared will be equal to minus b plus or minus m will be equal to minus b plus or minus root b squared minus 4ac over 2a. So I talked about this determinant a lot in that quadratic expression. So make sure you understand the concept of determinant. It helps us to know if this expression is factorizable or not. Okay, so let's continue. Um, m will now be equal to, so this will be our a, the question, a will be equal to 1, question of this, b will be equal to minus 34, and c will be equal to 1, all right? So b is minus 34, so we have minus 34 plus or minus root b squared, which is, okay, minus 34 squared, all right? Minus 34 all squared minus 4 times a. What is a? 1 times c is also 1, okay? Over 2 times 1. A is 1. All right, so that m therefore will be equal to minus 34 plus or minus root minus 34 all squared. So that's just 34 times 34. 34 squared is equal to 1156. So 1156 minus 4 by 4 by 4. Okay, 4 by 1 by 1 right? over 2. So we come here and we have m will be equal to m, okay, m will be equal to, I suppose to come closer, uh, m will be equal to uh, minus 34 plus or minus, this minus this gives us the square root of 1152 uh, over 2. So what's the square root of 1152 minus 4? square root of answer 24 root 2 i don't want a root there so how about we let's um take the square the okay that would be 33.941 33.941 so m is equal to you know in maths i like to use 3dp and in chemistry i like to use 2dp usually that's the standard somehow or that i know of anyway so I said 33.941, so minus 34 plus or minus 33.941 all over 2. So what does this give, give us? It means that M is either equal to minus 34 plus 33.941 over 2 or M is equal to minus 34, let's capture that. Okay, minus 34, um, plus or minus, that would be minus 33.941, all over 2, all right? So what does this give us? In the first case, all right, let's clean this side of the board. So, <laughs> so, So, um, okay, there's this space here. This guy here, minus 34 plus 33. So our answer minus 34. It's going to give us minus 0 0.05. M will be equal to, for the first case, minus 0 0.0589 over, using three significant goes now, over 2, there's a minus. All right, so this divided by 2 will give us, M will be equal to minus 0 0.0, okay, let's make this on one, one DP, and uh, one significant figure. Um, because it's it can be approximated, and that is uh, easily. Um, that is um, 0 0.2029 is what I'm getting. That is what I'm getting, 0 0.03. All right. Then in the next case, is going to be minus 34 minus 33.941. That's 
that gives me minus 67 so or oh, oh, no let's bring it up or oh, m is equal to minus 67.941 over 2 so divided by 2 is going to give us 33 minus 33 and I say 3.97. 97. Okay. Let's make this 2 dB. All right. Because the application is also quite place. Point, um, zero is the next number. So I want to just stop this. So that it's All right. So we have gotten two values for our M. So using. So when M. Recall that we said we made A raised by X. Recall that it was A raised by X that we made M. So and now m is minus that, yeah. So that will be minus zero point zero three is equal to a raised to the power x, isn't it? All right. So from here, we can. What can we do? Okay, there are two unknowns, so we can let's substitute something else again. You know that this guy a raised to the power x is representing. You know our a is this guy. Our, this is our A here, right? So it means that to get X now, minus 0 0.03 is equal to A, which is 3 plus 2 root 2, close brackets, X, all right, raised to power X. So that's what we have there. So it means that minus 0 0.03 is equal to uh, 3 plus 2 root 2. Root 2 is 1.414. 2 times 1.414. This is by x, all right? So times 2. So, this is minus 0 0.03 is equal to is equal to 5.83. 5.83. All raised to power x. So I've worked out what is inside this. So 5.83 raised to power x. So from here we can now to get x. All we have to we can easily take logarithm of both sides. So if we take log of 0 0.03 of negative 0 0.03 negative 0 0.03 is equal to log of 5.83 or is power x so x goes to the back side we have log of minus 0 0.03 is equal to x log 5.83 all right so from here x will be equal to log of minus 0 0.03 divided by log of 5.83 right so log negative 0 0.03 okay we're going to get negative log actually um so so what do we do here the first thing to do is oh no there is actually a mistake here all right you know that our b is minus 34 so it's supposed to be minus minus 34 here Hello. All right. So, um, so it's supposed to be minus minus thirty four here. Minus minus thirty four. All right. So here it becomes plus. Is that okay? And here it becomes plus also. So that here it is plus. So this plus this over two, and this minus this over two. So here we're gonna have. So this is going to be the second m because um 
if we subtract, we should get the same answer as when we did here, but the positive one. You know, plus this, minus this, I mean, minus this, plus this, same as the opposites, you know. Like this was minus before, and this was plus, so when we did subtraction, we got this. So this is going to be the answer here too, because we only switched the sign, but the sign will be different. Is that okay? As in 34 minus this should, would give us this. All right. So I hope you understand that. So this is going to produce this, but now positive. Do you get that? So that is going to produce that positive. But this case now is going to come here. Um, it's going to come here. Here. So this will become plus. Plus 67. Yes. Plus 67. And then this therefore becomes positive 33.9. So okay. So that's all the that, that was all we missed out there. So because I was beginning to see why um we have a negative here. We're not supposed to have a negative. Uh, my bad was the fact that I didn't solve the question before coming. But now you get it, right? You get it. So all of this is just going to go away. All the negatives here are going to disappear. Um Uh, so I think we're done, all right? So here, we now take log of 0 .0 0 0.03. So log 0 0.03 divided by log, log 0 0.03 divided by log 5.83. And that gives us, this gives us log of 0 0.03. That is log of 0 0.03 divided by log of 5.83. Um, sorry. Is equal to minus 1.98, which is approximately 2. Is that okay? That's approximately 2. That's minus 2. So let's use minus 2 because it's approximately 2. So x equal to minus 2 here. Or, so that is if we use 0 0.03 for our guide. Now let's use the other answer we got, which was 5, I mean, 3.9. So that is a, basically 34, you know. Well, let's use the number itself. Let's use, so we have... Um, M is also 33.97. So A is by X is equal to 33.97. So an A is by X is still this guy, right? Okay, here we have evaluated it and we got 5.83. So 5.83 or is by X is equal to 33.97. So using the same approach, log of this guy 5.83 so r is by x is equal to log of 33.97 so this becomes x log 5.83 is equal to log 33.97 so from here we can divide both sides by this guy so we have log of 33 0.97 over log of 5.83. All right, so let's see what that gives us. Log. Okay, I'll just come here and change what we have here. 33. Log. 33.97. Divided by log 5.83. All right. Um, that is this. Log 33.97 divided by log that is equal to 1.9. Okay, yes, that is two. All right, that is two. So x is equal to 2. All right, so 
Okay, so we say x is either equal to minus 2 or x is equal to 2. All right. So that will be it for this video. Um, and you can test it. You can check it. Now, the reason why we went through this long method is out there is if you were not asked to, if you were asked to show the work is that uh, it's a written exam, is that okay? If it's a written exam because I mean, easily you could have just, you know, here you could have just substituted the value of work this to give you 5.83, work this to give you something less than that. That would be 2.14, that would be about 2 minus that would be 1 point something. So you add this, you take the log. So you are going to get an answer, but you see, um, the the options might have two answers. Say x is equal to this or this plus or minus two. Is that okay? And x is equal to that. So you have to know how to go through this whole thing. That's why I went through the entire thing. All right. So this will be the end of the video. Um, in the next video, we're going to also see other math Olympiad questions. God bless you. Please do well to subscribe to the channel if you have not. And let's take the channel to one million subscribers. God bless you. <laughs> what?